Howdy. Well, it's baking time. It's my mom's birthday, so I'm gonna bake her some cupcakes. So this is my recipe for cupcakes, which is based off someone else's recipe with some various changes I've made out of laces. To start with, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I normally say if it's fan force 170, otherwise they can crisp too fast, uh, see how you go with that. Next we get two cups of flour, and we're gonna put them in this bowl. That's about two cups. Put it in there. It's all right if there's a bit extra, not a big deal. I'll get a spoon. Next, I put in about one to one and a half cups of brown sugar. Brown sugar is great because it's got molasses in it. It has a nice kind of moist taste to it. It's very, very strong in flavor. There's nothing like brown sugar and pancakes with a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice and brown sugar go well with anything. But what I have is brown sugar with a little bit of apple sauce on my cereal. Just perfect. Let's be generous. Let's make about one and a quarter cups. Some people say two cups, but I think that's too much. You can get a very strong, you mostly get the taste of the vanilla flavor, um, flavoring. So I just go with one and a half cups and make it a bit healthier, a bit healthier. Not too much of a glycemic load. Next, now this is very important, we need two tablespoons of baking powder. You can get just a, any old baking powder, it doesn't have to be a certain brand or anything like that, just as basically for, I believe it's for the expansion in the oven, it just sort of gives it that nice fluffy texture. So we've got that, and this guy says add one tablespoon of salt. Being the incredibly uh, fancy pants I am, I'm just using regular table salt. So, this isn't that vital, but it just gives it a little bit of extra, um, nice oven texture. Now, we add in two eggs. Now, I've had these eggs for a while, and I don't know, some are from my friend's chickens, and a couple of others are just from the store. So I'll try these. What I normally do first, is I'll put them in here, just in case you get any shell pieces. So you, um, put them in the measuring cup. Glass measuring cups are ideal, but I used to use plastic for the longest time. They sound about the same, feel about the same. Oh, I don't know if that's... Oh no, that's... Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have our egg. You can mix it up if you want. Some people like to... Uh, they say it comes out uh, fluffier if you mix it up. So we'll mix it up, play it their way. Add that in. So you've got your two eggs. Now... Now next, some people like to add some buttermilk or sour milk. About um, one cup of buttermilk. I like to use skim milk. Regular skim milk works perfectly fine in my opinion. So I just add it. It's just about getting that texture right rather than the taste. Some people use like butter and all this other sort of stuff, but I don't like the taste of butter. I can t t taste even the tiniest taste of butter. So I leave out that and put in skim milk. Look at that. Smell it already. Now this is very important. You want to add in some vanilla flavoring. You want to add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. You can be a little more liberal with this, but not too much because um, t uh, vanilla extract does have an, a very, very strong flavor. You'll notice I'm using imitation vanilla. There is the straight vanilla stuff, but uh, imitation I've found works just as fine. I honestly can't notice a difference and there's like, this is five times cheaper and no one ever buys it, so I mean, even the name, Imitation Vanilla, like, just leaves a bad taste, but perfect, it tastes perfectly fine, no problem with it. And now the fun part, we stir. Stir, stir, stir. Ideally for this, you can use a, uh, like a, just regular spoon, but I like to use a whisk. Whisks work really effectively. So yeah, kind of get, you're gonna get in there to kind of mix the, mix it up. Sometimes the flour can uh, kind of get stuck on the sides and so and just kind of stuck in uh, little tufts so um, it's good to uh, just really mix it in there make sure you get the sides and uh, 
it might get a little bit of air bubbles, and that's okay. I've never noticed any issue with having a, some air bubbles in it. Whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, we're getting a bit of that nice flavor now. It's really coming together nicely. So, should be looking a little like this. This probably came out with a little too much milk. You know, I might add a little bit more flour just to, um, if you're finding it's a bit runny, a little bit of extra flour can help. So I'll just add the remainder of that in just to give it a more of a solid texture. Now don't double dip, but you just want to have a taste to make sure you've got a good balance of sugar. Obviously wash it afterwards. That's perfect. Oh, I got it just right. I don't even need any more sugar. That is perfect. Oh, that's great. I haven't done that in ages. What I'll often do to keep it nice and clean is I'll just keep an antibacterial wipe nearby me and if I ever need to uh, use my hands to do anything um, food related and then, or I've dirtied my hands, I'll just keep it aside and give it a little uh, like that. But obviously hand washing as we've learned recently is the best option. So the fun part we're doing next is pouring. To do this, I'll clean these and we'll pour it through that. We get rid of the whisk, put that in there. We're gonna pour some of this into our measuring cup. Measuring cups I find are pretty good for just uh, pouring it into the batter. So, next we get our cupcake holders. These are available from most Walmarts, Supermarts, Coles, depends what uh, Woolworths, depends what um, country you're in, but uh, most places have these, you know, they have them in different colors, it doesn't really matter. Some do the mini cupcakes. See, I don't like mini cupcakes. I think mini cupcakes are a severe disappointment to children. I think that it's like, oh wow, I have like barely a mouthful of cupcake. You want the nice big ones to give them a nice treat. It should be a nice meal for them. A substantial meal. When you want, when you have a cupcake, you want it to be worth it. Not be like, oh, I feel like I've had half a cupcake, hooray. And now we pour in the cupcake mix. Don't want to pour it too high here. You see, you leave a bit of space because it's gonna rise. When you put it in the oven, it's gonna come up. And the problem is, is it'll overflow if you put in too much. It's generally better to put in too little than too much, I find. Um, as it will rise substantially, particularly if you use self-raising flour. Self-raising flour, um, I never use because it, it, it gets fluffy enough as is with the baking powder, but if you want it to be even more kind of fluffy, you can use self-raising flour and you'll need even less to make it expand. I haven't forgotten about the icing. Um, the icing is nice and easy. Depends if you want to use chocolate icing or what icing you want. Basically, um, vanilla icing is just icing without the chocolate powder, the cocoa powder. Cocoa powder, chocolate icing, you just add a bit more, um, co you just add a bit of cocoa powder instead of vanilla extract, and away you go. These are probably a little too liquidy. I could have added a bit more flour, but we'll see how they come out. Next, we put them in the oven. Oh is quite hot. Use an oven mitt. I'm take my terrible example because it's quite easy to get these in. I'm just going to put them to the side like this. But ideally, you should be using oven mitts. I'll use oven mitts when I take them out. I'm going to pour some more batter in the meantime. So you probably could use um, half a cup of skim milk or um, yeah, three quarters because mine came out a bit too runny for two cups of flour. And if you find it comes out too runny, just add a bit more flour. And with that, if you want to balance it out, just a bit more brown sugar. Brown sugar is the best because it's about the same as regular sugar, but it's got more of a punch and flavor. It's not like caster sugar. And it actually does change the baking a little bit and gives it just a nice puff of flavor. Have you ever seen icing made before? It's actually really easy. Basically just sugar and milk and a bit of flavoring and you've got yourself icing. So let's put in, you don't, you can be pretty loose with this stuff. You don't have to get too careful. I put in, say, let's just dump the rest in and see what happens. They like to add a bit of vanilla extract, so let's just shove some in. 
Ooh, that was probably too much, but that's all right. Now be very careful about adding too much milk, because if you add too much, um, it will come out runny and it won't work well on the uh, on the icing. So just mix that up and we'll see what happens. Again, you can add unsalted butter, but I've never found the um, kids of mine did no butter in their uh, cupcakes. Never noticed a difference. Or the adults for that matter. Butter is just, I've never found a use for it. Maybe it helps the baking? I don't know. I don't like butter. And I believe our cupcakes are ready. Let's see how they came out. So, next, we get our icing. Icing is pretty straightforward. Just mix it up a bit. See, it's got a bit more of that cold, sort of uh, nice texture now. Still a bit runny, but let's see how it goes. You just uh, put a bit on top. Oh, I forgot one thing. You need to wait till the um, cupcakes cool down before applying the icing. Otherwise, the icing will melt on the cupcakes and it'll come out runny like this. But we can still uh, salvage this one, probably. So we just apply a little bit of that, and you have um, a not so good cupcake. This isn't my best batch, is it? And now the taste test. I thought that it turned out terrible, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that texture. I think that came out well. Only recommendation I'd make from here is keep it a little less runny, and you can have a more fluffy texture inside. So apply a little less milk than I did, a little less uh, milk to the icing as well. Overall, I just used too much milk for this uh, this uh, this uh, batch. That's probably cooled down enough, so we'll apply that now. What I like to do, to actually store them, I recommend, uh, if you want to store them and not uh, immediately, I recommend putting out some paper towel. Oop. I recommend putting out some paper towel, and then just popping that down there now that our cupcakes have cooled down, let I normally bring out a plate to apply them. Uh, to apply the icing, like so. Cupcakes are all about a good icing with a nice fluffy texture for the main cupcake. It's uh, If you get the icing right, it's mostly about the texture of a cupcake. And that's what I find anyway. So over time now that this is dry, this has actually turned out to look a little bit better, but I should add a bit more icing to that. And the sprinkles, the sprinkles just are a bit of an aesthetic touch, but the experience of um, eating food or cooking, you know, part of it is a visual. Like they say, it's like 30% or something is visual aesthetic. Now you want to do the little strands on top while your icing is still a little bit moist. That way, if they're just uh, dry though, they'll just fall off. And be generous, not too generous, otherwise they kind of fall down the side and it doesn't look uh, as nice. That's about as good as I'm gonna get those ones. Add your little strands. Voila. These are a lot easier to cook than a cake, so you may find you only need 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes for your cupcakes. Just Play that one by ear, you don't have to be too exact with it. Just make sure that uh, the inside is, uh, the batter is fully baked. You don't want to let it in too long, otherwise they kind of go brown at the top and it uh, just doesn't work well. Butter's kind of a crutch for that, I think, because it helps keep the texture really nice. But if you get the uh, baking uh, just about right, you know, and don't leave it in for too long, um, then you will not need any butter. And there you have it. We have some Strider cupcakes. I think they turned out okay. It's certainly not my best batch. The uh, icing uh, is a bit too milky, a bit uh, so use a little bit less milk than I use. So, so that's how we cook some brown sugar cupcakes. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll uh, talk to you later.